Hi, Barbara. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, I do. I oh, can. <laughs> I'm sorry, Barbara. I took a while. Um, I was having trouble connecting. Uh, oh, it's okay. It happens. <laughs> yeah, uh, my Zoom didn't want to. It was like frozen. Oh, I see. Um, okay. Um, let me just write to the group. Good night, teacher. Good evening, Ceci. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I, I, um, in this, in this, uh, in this day, um, I have a finishing, I have a finish the platform, but I missing two questions. You can help me. The question? Sure. Okay. So, so, um, Ceci, I understand then that you, uh, you have finished all of the platform. Is that correct? Yes. Oh, only, no. only, missing two, oh. only missing two questions. Question. Oh, in the, wow. okay. In the, in the, in the, in the final, in the final exam. Uh -huh. in, the in the letter C. Um, is I a uh, the tough question in the um, letter C type question, okay? In the I hate I hate um okay uh, I going to the the see the platform, my platform. I don't remember the exactly, exactly question. Let me see. Okay. Okay, no problem. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to um, I'm going to be um, showing you the platform so that you can also have the opportunity there of um, asking um, the questions about which one is missing. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Sophie? Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, all right. So Barbara, how far along are you in the platform? I know that yesterday you, had, you were in uh, section three. Did you finish section three? No, I'm in the section 3.3. Passy or present continuous. Present perfect and future. Okay, so you're in section 3, 3.3. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so, Barbara, do you think it's possible? Um, do you think it will be possible for you to finish? Um, a, well, it would have to be uh, this week. I need to, to finish all of section number four as well. Do you think that's possible? Mm, yes, it is. Yes? Okay, good, good. Because remember that- um, I'll do my best. Okay, yeah, thank you. Because remember that uh, we need to finish um, all of the information uh, sorry, we need to finish all the platform before we be are able to begin with the next level. So that means that if you do not finish um, the 
the exercises in the platform, we won't be able to begin. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Daniel. How are you doing? Sorry, I'm late, but I was working. Oh, okay. No worries. It's okay. I understand. Um, well, thank you uh, very much, um, Daniel, for, for connecting, even though um, you have a lot of work to do, but it's always going to pay off. Um, Daniel, how are you doing with the platform? I know you were in section three. Did you already finish sec section three? Yes, I finished section three. Teachers. Yay, okay, excellent. Okay, so you're ready. I, 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 be, I, begin, I began the number four, but I have a lot of doubts with that. Um, how do you say? Uh, clauses, ah, I don't remember this. Subject. Reduced. Um, Re reduced cases. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. We're going to go over that as well. Don't worry. Okay. Um, all right. So let's see. Um, and. Okay. <clears throat> it's actually. Um, it's actually much easier than you probably think. So let me, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you. Well, actually, before anything, um, Barbara, sorry, no, no, sorry. Um, no, uh, Ceci, Ceci, did you find the, the exercises that you were having problems with? Yes, I find uh, the the is the final exam in in letters in letter C. Y the topic um bueno, the number two uh, the tag question the question is it seems it seems like kids spend way too much time playing computer games. I I I respond. I am sorry, isn't it? It is bad. Teacher, I don't hear. Wait, sorry, sorry. Okay, so um, can you repeat uh, what it, it said? It seems, it seems like kids spend way too much time playing computer games. Is any? Ah, is okay. bad. Uh -huh. Okay, I understand what's the problem. Okay, I'm actually going to show you um, the answer in the whiteboard so that it will be easier for you to understand what the problem is. Y the other question is, I hate getting spams. Are any it bad? But the question, but okay. But what, what we're gonna do is um, what we're gonna do is write down the um, the sentences so it's easier for you to understand what the problem is. Okay, so the first one says it. It I seems. Uh, it seems. Seems. Uh huh. Okay, it seems like kids, like kids. It mm -hmm. seems like kids, kids. Spend, spend, spend way, way too much, too much, too much, too much, too much time playing, too much time playing com computer games. Okay, that that's that's the that's the problem, right? Mm -hmm. 
can spend way too much time okay. playing computer game. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, um, so we have the sentence here and what we have to determine is what goes over here. So to be able to understand, we need to first identify the, the, the verb. What is the verb? Spend. Nope. Spend. The verb goes after the subject. What is the subject? Give. No. What's the subject? It's subjects are usually at the beginning of the sentence. Ah, it, it. Exactly. Okay. So uh, we have here. Okay. So that's a subject here. Okay. So what is, if that's a subject, what is the verb? Seems like, exactly. like. Seems. Okay. So seems is the verb, okay? Now, if seems is the verb, the question is, what tense is seems in? What is the name of this tense? What is the name? What is the name of this tense? Mm. Notice it said it seems. There's an S at the, at the end. So what is the name of this tense, Ceci? The names or the repeat teacher, I what don't is, know. What is the name of this tense? Okay, so I'll, I'll give you some examples. Is it the simple present, simple past, present, ah, perfect, past, past perfect? Is the, is the present the third person? Okay, good. What present? What kind of present? Simple present. present, present progressive, present perfect, present perfect progressive, what? Simple present. Simple present, okay, good. So it's, this is in the simple present. Now, what auxiliary do we use in the simple present? Mm. What auxiliary do we use when we want to talk about this? Uh, is, uh, is, is. Mm, okay, when it's the verb to be, we're gonna be using is. But mm -hmm. in the majority of the verbs and all the other verbs? Are. No, are is from the verb to be. So if it's not the verb to be, what are we gonna use? Like, okay, to give an example, if I say to you, um, I work, what is the question? I work. If I say to you, I work, what is the question? Mm. If I say, think about it in Spanish, yo trabajo, what is la pregunta? Tra trabajo yo. Ajá, o, pero si yo le respondo, yo trabajo, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Yo trabajo, ¿verdad? O sea, vaya, si, si, yo le, si, si yo le contesto, yo trabajo, ¿usted me está preguntando? Usted trabaja. Ok, muy bien, ¿usted trabaja? ¿Cómo do you eso en inglés? Are you work? No. Are you work? No. Do you work? Ah, yes. There you go. Very good. Do you work? So what is the auxiliary that we use with the simple present? Ceci, what auxiliary do we use with the simple present? Do you work the auxiliary? Mm. You just told me. Me lo acabo de decir right now. Do. Do uh, or. Do or. Do does. Good. Do or does. Exactly. There you go. Okay. So that means that when we are using seems, then over here, we're going to be using the auxiliary, either do or does. Mm, is does. 
No, it's do because it seems is s. Okay, what's the subject? The subject it. It good. So do we use do or does with it? It does. Good. There you go. It does. And because this is affirmative, this has to be. It does. Then. Exactly. This one has to be negative. Okay. It does then it. Yes. Does that make sense? Doesn't it? So if this one is positive, okay. make sure that this one is negative. So if we're going to be using does, we would have to make it negative, does it? Okay? Does that, okay. Does that answer your question, Sissy? Thank you, teacher. You're Thank welcome. You. Okay. Any other the questions? Other, uh -huh. the, other, the other is the... Okay. Let me see. Is um, I I hate getting spans. Okay. Okay. So again, the same question that I'm gonna I did with this one. What is the verb? The verb is hate. Is hate. Very good. And what is the name of that tense? What is that? What is the name of the tense hate? Is a uh, present, present. Present. What, what present? Simple, simple present. Exactly. And what auxiliary do we use with the simple present? Do or does. Exactly. Do because the subject is I. OK. Do. Very good. And the opposite? So one has to Don't. be positive and the other negative. So what is it? Don't, don't, mm -hmm. don't I, I. There you go, Ex excellent, there you go. That's it, that's the answer. Does that make sense? Don't I, is it the rest, is it the, is it mm -hmm. the, okay. I, I put, I put in the, in the, in the question, because I I writing the the as the, the answer in the bad 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 answer because I ahorita ahorita lo voy a poner no sé don't I okay but does that make sense for you do does that make sense do you understand what why that's the correct answer now, Sissy? Okay. Teacher, I don't hear. Okay. And do you understand Please. why Please. that's the correct answer? Yes, I under I I understand the the verb and the in the in the auxiliary for okay. the for the um, Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So, the, and that's what it, what is really important for me. It's not just to give you the answer, guys. I really need you to understand why that's the answer. Okay. So, um, remember, with the tag questions, it's important two things. One, well, if three things, let's say. One, to determine a, what is the name or what in what tense we are using the, the main verb. In this case, it seems, right? Second, ask yourself, what is the auxiliary that we use with that tense, right? So with simple present, we use do or does. Simple past, we use did. A present perfect, we use uh, have or has. A past perfect, we use had. With a um, present, progressive, we use is, are, or am. With the past progressive, you use was or were. And with the present perfect uh, progressive, we use is, are, or am. And with the past perfect progressive, we use was or were. Um, with the simple future, it's will. Or the future be going to, you use is, are, 
or M um, and so on, right? So the idea here is to use, to be able to identify what auxiliary. After you have identified the auxiliary, make sure, well, make sure that the auxiliary is in the correct form. So depending on the subject, in this case, we had to use does because the subject is it. And the last thing you gotta make sure is that we're doing the opposite. So this is positive, this one has to be negative. And if this one's neg if this one is negative, this one has to be positive. Okay. <coughs> Sounds good, guys? Okay. Any questions? Anything you wanna ask me? No? Okay, all right. Um, since I have you guys uh, over here in the whiteboard, uh, let me just um, clarify any answers, any questions that you have. Uh, Grace, how far along in the platform are you? I mean, I'm still in the fourth, um, in the fourth section. In the first or fourth? Fourth. Oh, okay. Okay, I understand. Um. Okay, uh, do you have any questions about um, the, the... Teacher, teacher, okay. I get the answer wrong in my platform. In your platform? Okay, just give me a second, give me a second. Uh, Grace, um, do you have any questions? Um, not now, teacher, um, I'm, I'm good by now. Okay, okay. Um, so it's okay. Uh, what about Nuvia? How are you doing, Nuvia, with your with the platform? Nuvia, are you there? Can you hear me? No, maybe Nuvia can't hear me. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So, um, Ceci, you mentioned that you got it wrong. What exactly yeah. did you get wrong? Is uh, the the third question is I hate getting spams. Don't I? Is is wrong? Don't I? Um, don't I? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me find out uh, what could be the problem, and I'll and I'll share it in a moment. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, in the meantime, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be starting it there with, uh, well, what do, um, okay, just a second. Okay, um, so uh, we're going to be look. Um, so Daniel, you were having problems with uh, reduced adjective, sorry, reduced uh, relative clauses. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, okay. I tried to do some exercise, but I, I couldn't. Okay. <laughs> it's different right. when you are listening the, the English class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. And I'm going to share with you guys a, a little bit about uh, reduced relative uh, clauses or reducing relative clauses. Okay. Um, can you see this? Yes. Yeah, everybody can see my, my screen. 
Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Good. Okay. Um, reducing relative clauses. It, it it's it's very it it um. It sounds complicated, but it's actually one of the most. It's one of the easiest things that you're gonna be able to do. Um, so I'm going to. Oh, okay. All right. I'm actually going to show you what a regular. Um, a regular um, adjective, sorry, rel a regular relative clause would look like this, okay? Okay, so if this was a, rel a regular relative clause, I would say this. Can you see the woman who is sitting by the window? I don't want a house which was built in the 18th century. Okay, so these are these are sentences that uh, you know they're they're just regular relative clauses, right? Now, what this one is particular with is the fact that it has the verb to be. Okay, so that's why I have here reducing relative clauses with be. Okay. So here I'm going to try to reduce um, the relative clause only with the verb to be. What happens is the verb to be is very special because what happens is that with, when I want to reduce it or make it smaller, the first thing I have to do is eliminate the relative pronoun. In this case, which one is the relative program? Pro, pro, ugh, sorry, the relative pronoun. Which one is it? In the, in the first sentence over here. What is the relative pronoun? Who? Oh. Exactly. Very good. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate. Who? Oh. Okay. Oops. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. Okay, so the first that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm going to have to eliminate the relative pronoun. Okay. The second thing mm -hmm. I have to do is eliminate the verb to be. So in this case, what is the verb to be? Mm -hmm. Exactly is. And I'm left with this. Can you see the woman sitting by the window? This over here, this part here is called, the, it, is, it better said is the reduced relative clause, this part here. So I end up with just the, the verb sitting in the ing form, okay? The same thing here. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing. What is the relative pronoun? You. In, in this one. Which? OK, good. Which? Exactly. So we're going to eliminate which. Okay, and the second thing that we have to do is what? Was. Yeah, but what do we have to do? Eliminate. Exactly, we have to eliminate, eliminate. was. So we're in, we end up with, I don't want a house built in the 18th century. It's as simple as that. What do you guys think about that? Is that difficult? Daniel? No. Right now, no. 
question. A yeah. question. In the verb will, build, build, put, uh -huh. in yeah. ing, no the form ing. The no. same, the first, se the first sentences, sitting. No, no sitting back. Um, that's, that's um, the past participle of um, the verb build. It's like when you say in Spanish, Yo no quiero una casa que fue construida en el siglo XVIII. Okay. Okay. I understand. Yes. You're welcome. Okay. okay. So it's as simple as that. With the verb to be, all you got to do is eliminate the relative pronoun and the verb to be. It's as simple as that. Super easy. Okay. Now, that's what the verb to be. With all other verbs, it's a little bit different. Um, with the other verbs, it would it actually looks more like this. I'm going to give you I'm going to give you the the original um, relative clause so that oh, oh my goodness, hold on. Sorry. Okay, so this would be a regular relative clause. These two sentences. My neighbor who lives next to me is a celebrity in our country. Her parents who knew they were in great danger left the country immediately. Okay. Um, so those are two sentences that use the relative clause all right, is that clear for everybody? These two sentences are clear? Yes. Yeah, okay. But like I said, we are reducing. Reducing means that we're making it smaller. Okay, we're, make, we're making it simplified. So what we're gonna do is the following. We're, we're gonna do the same thing that we did here. The first step is to eliminate the relative pronoun. What is the relative pronoun? Is who? Exactly. In both of them, it's actually the word who. So the first thing we're going to do is eliminate the word who. Okay. In both of them, I'm going to do it just, you know, just to get rid of it, you know, once it falls. Okay. So that's the first thing we got to do. The second thing we're gonna do, if you notice there's no verb to be, so we can't eliminate the verb to be like in this one, right? In this one, we just have to eliminate the verb to be. But in this one, there is no verb to eliminate, or better said, there's no verb to be to eliminate. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna take the verb that we have and we're gonna change it to the gerund form. So instead of having lives, we're gonna change lives to the gerund form. What is the gerund form of lives? Living. Living. Exactly. So we're going to say living. Okay. And what about this one? New. What is the what is the uh, gerund form of new? Sorry. Knowing or new. What's the gerund new. form of new? Newing. Newing? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Even Daniel is no, like laughing new, about no. it because he knows that it doesn't sound right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so what's the gerund form of, no, of new? Knowing. Yes, very good. Exactly. Knowing. Thank you very much, Barbara. Knowing. Okay. Exactly. Because <laughs> new is a simple past, right? And the, the, reg, the verb in the base form is no. And so the gerund form is just adding the ing, and we end up with the word knowing. 
So that's the reduced relative clause. It says, my neighbors living next to me is a celebrity in our country. My parents, knowing they were in great danger, left the country immediately. How does that sound? I got it. Simple, right? Simple. Yeah. I'm telling I you. Now it's simple. <laughs> <laughs> it I, I, no, let, let me tell you that I tried to do before the English class because yeah. I, yes, uh, but I, I couldn't do. I was very close. My mind was very close. Yeah, it's okay. That's because you you hadn't you hadn't had this explanation. As you and as you can see, it it's super easy. So basically, to reduce relative clause, there are three rules. Okay, the first rule is eliminate the relative pronoun. That's rule number one. Rule number two is eliminate the verb to be. And rule number three is if there is no verb to be, change the verb to a gerund. That's it. Those are the, the three steps you got to take and you got it. Now there is an exception though, and it's what, what I have here down here. It's not possible. You cannot reduce this one. So I can't say, I, I, I can't, I can't um, reduce this one. I can't say I can't buy a car, which is expensive. Why? Because if I, if I reduce it, what happens is the following. If I eliminate the relative pronoun, which is the word which, Oops. Okay, I don't wanna... okay, so if I eliminate the relative pronoun, which is the word which, and I eliminate the verb to be, which is is, and I just end up with the word expensive. So this doesn't work because I can't just say, I, it's not possible for me to say I can't buy a car expensive. It doesn't make sense. So the rule is if there is only one adjective after the verb to be, we can't reduce it. We can't eliminate the verb to be. We can't eliminate the uh, relative pronoun. It has to stay the same. Okay, does that make sense? Wait, uh, I, uh, the last sentence could could it be, I can buy a car, expensive? No, that's the rule. The rule is that it's impossible to eliminate this part here, okay? Because if I eliminate the relative pronoun, which, and the verb to be is, I end up only with an adjective. And the rule is that I cannot just have, I can't reduce and leave an adjective. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. There you go, guys. Those are the rules. Okay. So how are you guys feeling with rel reduced relative clauses? Is it pretty clear for you guys? It's more clear, teacher. Yeah? It's clear? It's more clear or it's clearer? Clearer. Clear. 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 Because clear is only one syllable. And the yeah. rule is that with one syllable adjectives, we just you put the we just add the, the letters er. The, yes, word, yes. the the word more is added when we have three or more syllables, or with some two syllable adjectives. But clear is just one. All right. So Daniel, you're clear about this one? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Great. You. How are you doing with this one? Is is, is this clear? Yes, teacher. Um, it's clear now, but I have an issue in, with one exercise in the platform. I've done um, almost all of them, but I'm, I'm going to paste the one that um, I don't know why I can't uh, do it well. 
which is anyone who dreams um, of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. Um, so what I've done is changing um, uh, it will, anyone dreaming of becoming, but it's wrong. And, and I don't know if I can use both uh, verbs in with the Darren uh, form, dreaming of becoming, um, or I don't know uh, if I have to do no, something that, else because- that should be the answer. That should be yeah, the answer. Because... Anyone dreaming of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of work. That should be the answer because you're eliminating the relative pronoun who, and you're changing uh, yeah. dream to the gen. Yes, so that is the answer. Now, uh, just check spelling, check punctuation, mm -hmm. check spaces. Some uh, one of my students um, today was asking me a question. Then he says, "Oh yeah, no, never mind. I under I I found out what the problem was. There uh, there was an extra space. <laughs> so uh, oh, okay, yeah, sometimes will... that happens, right? So it th okay. but it is that should be the answer. If it isn't, I will okay. check and. Um, I will let you know what 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 letters or what number is that so I can check it out. Mm -hmm. Which which is the uh, let me see uh, four point two four point two the number five. Okay, so I'll check it out. If the answer is different, I will oh. let you know. Okay, Grace. But um, okay. from and, my and point and of view, it that should be a correct answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, okay. I will review the, the, okay. the sentences. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Ceci, sounds good. Is everything clear for you about uh, reduced relative clauses? Ceci? Okay, sorry, teacher. It's okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I understand the clause, the relative clauses, reduce, okay. relative clauses. Reduce relative clauses. Perfect. Okay, wonderful. Thanks, uh, Ceci. And Barbara, how are you doing with this topic? It's okay. Yeah. Okay. So like I said, they yes. seem to be very difficult topics, or, but they're actually one of the easiest things. If you just have to uh, remember those rules, those three steps you got to take. What's the first step, Daniel? Hello? What's the first step you have to take? Um, the first is we have to eliminate the, the how to say, the Pro, sorry, the pro number. Re relative. Uh -huh. rel rel relative clauses. And the second Not one relative is clauses, eliminate. but relative pronoun. There you go. Relative pronoun. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Excellent. Okay. Rule number two, Sissy. Uh, the relative clause with other delimite, eliminate other verbs. Eliminate the verb. The uh, verb is to, the verb, verb to be. Good. There you go. The verb to be. Good. And the third one, Grace. Um, change to the ing form. Okay. All uh, all the verbs, including the 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 verb to be. Not for all the verbs. Okay, good. So all the other verbs except for the verb to be. Good. All right, guys. Um, so that will be all for today. I will check out the exercises. Please um, send me in the group the exercises you want me to check out so that I can help you with anything. Um, and you, I'm still waiting for the um, the sentences that I asked you to do for homework for the tag questions. So don't forget to do that, okay? Okay. Okay, okay guys. All right, everybody, take care and um, see you tomorrow. Okay. What? See you tomorrow. Time is over. Yeah, time is over. No. Incredible. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Let's take care of the house. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. See you. All right. Bye.